to my channel. Today's video is going to be essentially me getting ready and telling you guys all about us moving back to the US. So I told you guys in the last video that we would be moving back to the US, so this just is me kind of explaining how that's happening, why that's happening, and what we're doing once we get back there. So it's a little scrambled because I'm scatterbrained, but I will also do my makeup throughout it. So if you want to see me do my makeup and figure out where we're going home, please keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna get ready and talk to you guys about, kind of about us going home and what our plans are when we get home because it's another big move for us, of course. But let me get started on my makeup. I've had these patches on for like an hour now, I think. Probably should take them off. I keep them in the fridge so that they're super cold when I put them on because I have puffy eyes in the morning partially because I don't get great sleep in the bed that we have here, but also I just am a puffy person in the morning. Um, essentially, it's a Sunday and we're not going anywhere. So the reason that I'm getting ready today is because I'm going, I'm planning on trying to pre-film TikToks for my business TikTok for the week. Um, I have learned that it's just easier to pre-film instead of trying to get ready multiple days a week to do them. So since I'm getting ready today, I will be pre-filming that. But anyways, so let me get started on my makeup. Let me get my base on and then once my base is on, I'll start talking to you guys about us going home because I'm going to get distracted. So let me do that really quick. So now I've got my base done and my contour is started. So I'm gonna blend this in and start talking about why we're going home, where we're gonna be living, and our plans for everything. So, if you have been following my channel for like the past year-ish, I guess, yeah, it's been like a year since we found out we were coming to Thailand, um, you will know that the process of getting here was a lot. And things kept getting delayed and all of this is essentially due to COVID that things were getting delayed so we were the original plan was for us to be here January of this year 2021 and it just kept getting pushed and pushed and pushed and we ended up coming here at the end of July so we came here at the end of July we quarantined for our two weeks and then Tyler started working um, but of course, like in that time, things were getting started, but like essentially the actual business part of it was on pause. They just kind of decided that it might be a better idea instead of us being here and Tyler running the sales from here, they're gonna have us be in the US and Tyler is going to run the sales of all of the international um, plants that his company has. So it's a little bit of a promotion. It's more responsibility and he'll get to travel more places, but we're no longer gonna be living in Thailand. So we've been here for, it'll be about five months by the time we leave. Um, but like I said, we're not staying. So we found that out like maybe a month ago that we were that we are no longer going to be here and we we're sad because obviously in the amount of time that we've been here not a whole lot has been open um because of covid like things are slowly opening up but right when we got here they had a massive outbreak in thailand and bangkok so there's been a curfew that they just recently lifted um restaurants just now started serving alcohol again we weren't able to do a ton and so it's sad because we really were looking forward to being able to travel a lot and like see a lot of the country but um 
because Tyler is now going to be like in charge of sales for multiple countries um we're gonna be able to come back here and still travel and we're gonna get to go to like europe and travel and stuff like that um so it's a it's better but it's still sad because we had planned on being here for three years and we had a lot of things planned out on what we were gonna do and how we were gonna save and all these things and so we're kind of we had to readjust our plan for when we go, go home and um if you don't know this so tyler and i currently we were living our address is in texas so we've lived in texas for the past since 2016 so five years we have been living there but his company is actually based out of michigan which is where we're both from um we both were raised in Michigan and spent most of our lives there. Well, Tyler was born and raised in Michigan. I lived most of my life in Michigan. Um, so his company is there. So we made the decision just because it would be easier for him to be able to like go into the office as often as he needs to, because he's still going to be essentially have the same position that he had here. He'll just be traveling to multiple places to help run the sales so um he does need to be able to go into his physical office when he didn't have to do that when he was just a territory manager before so we made the decision to move back to michigan this is gonna every time plus and i will say this because this is accurate it makes it a little easier for me because if Tyler's going to be traveling all the time, um, I really want to be like close to friends and family if I can. And my family all, well, not my sisters, but like my parents and my brother still live in Michigan really close to where we're going to be living. And I have a bunch of friends that still live there. My business partner actually just moved to Michigan probably temporarily because she's starting up um, an Airbnb there but she'll be there and I still have so many friends that live in that area. So when Tyler is traveling for work on the times that I can't go with him, um, I'll be able to like still have people around him. We'll be by myself all the time, which makes me feel a little bit better. Um, so we are moving back to Michigan, which honestly we thought we would never do, but I'm really excited to do that. Um, so we leave here December 11th that's when our flight out from here is and we have to go through like we have to get a COVID test to leave we have to fill out paperwork um to get back into the country we have to like sh show our vaccine certificate which luckily we were able to get vaccinated before we came here so we're going to be doing all of that and then the process of moving moving again oh my gosh hold on we have moved so many times so we're going to fly into Michigan because we had kind of had it planned out a little differently at the time but we had fly into Michigan we are getting a rental car and because we fly into Detroit because it's just easier to fly into Detroit um, and significantly cheaper to fly into Detroit than it is to fly into Grand Rapids get a rental car we're driving it over to my parents staying a night at my parents and then we um we already actually have an apartment or well like a townhome in Grand Rapids because obviously like I'm sure most people at this point know what the housing market is like um buying a place just like it's not realistic right now for us and um even renting is really hard. So like we would see a house come up for rent or even an apartment unit come up for rent on like apartments.com or Zillow or whatever. And within like a day, it would have three or four applications and be off the market. And so we were like, how are we gonna find a place to live in like around the holidays? So we found a place that has townhomes that are really nice and they're just newly renovated townhomes and they had one of the newly renovated ones available still and so I called my mom because luckily she lives really close to where we're going to be living and I was like 
I'm sorry, but I need you to go tour this place for me because if you don't tour this place today and we don't put a deposit down today, we're not going to get it. And I don't know where we're going to live. Like, I don't know how we're going to find a place to live when we come back. So she luckily was able to her and my aunt went and toured this place for us. And we literally over the phone, we're like, yep, we want it. Put down our deposit. And so we have a place to live already when we get there, but all of our stuff is still in Texas. So we are going to go up there, go to the unit, just like see it in person for the first time, drop off all of our stuff that we have with us currently. Cause like, if we don't have to put it into a U-Haul, then that just saves us some time. So we're gonna drop off the stuff that's in our suitcases now, drive down to Texas in my mom's car because we don't have cars anymore because Tyler's company bought his car from him because we thought we were going to be here for three years and my Jeep was a lease and we would had intended to buy it but because we were going to be here for three years we didn't want to buy a car and have it just sitting for three years so we turned it in and so neither of us have cars um so we were borrowing my mom's car until we can get a car um but so we're going to drive my mom's car down to Texas and spend like just a few days down there. Tyler wants to get a haircut. Um, there's just like a couple things that we need to do while we're down there. And then we're gonna pack up a U-Haul, drive it back up literally like the weekend before Christmas, I think is when we're driving it up. <laughs> and we're gonna drive it up, unpack, and go do the holiday things. Like we're probably not even gonna like actually unpack our stuff. We're just gonna like get the boxes inside. We're picking up our cats. That is one thing that I'm very excited about with going home is the fact that I get to have my babies again because I miss them a lot. So we're gonna go get our cats and all of our stuff, move it back up to Michigan. And then we're gonna be there for the foreseeable future. I don't really know how long that is. I have no idea what our plan is at this point, but it is helpful because like I said, my business partner is currently living in Michigan. Um, my business partner and my best friend, it's weird. I sometimes call her my business partner because we've been friends since elementary school. Um, but so it just helps because we're actually gonna get to like be around each other. We're trying to like grow our social media and grow our business and all these things. And it's working currently, but like it will be significantly easier having us be close to each other. So that'll be really nice. It'll be nice to be like close to family. Our nephews and my sister-in-law um, live in Michigan still so um that's nice we'll be able to like actually go to their birthday parties things like that so we are excited about going home um there are definitely some downsides obviously like living in a foreign country is really cool and we were going to be able to explore and do all these things which are still going to happen but it's just a matter of visiting and doing that and not actually being able to do it like while living here i have one eye done it looks really simple and basic, but I like it. So I'm going to actually do the other eye off camera and then I'll come back and continue talking as I finish up my makeup. Um, yeah, I'll do that. I'm going to play the Taylor Swift 10 minute all too well because that's all I've been listening to that. And um, I listened to Adele's new album yesterday, which is fantastic maybe i'll listen to that today i've been real moody lately because of these so i'm gonna listen to that finish my other eye i'll be back okay so i did my eyebrows and my mascara and i just put a little bit of eyeliner like in the corners um and then i realized i didn't put on my powder blush so I'm going to do that and then we're going to do lips, but so I don't know if I did a good job explaining any of this about us going home, but um, yeah, so we're going to be living closer to friends and family, which is really exciting. 
hopefully my business will be able to grow because we're going to be living so close to friends and family. Um, and yeah, that's, there are so many great things about living in Grand Rapids, the Grand Rapids area that we're really excited about. And then there's like winter, which is going to suck. Um, but obviously it's a little easier since we've gone through it. I need to not talk while I'm rustling with things. It's a little easier because we've gone through it before. I think anybody who has never gone through, um, winter would hate it, which it's not super fun, but you know, it's not the worst, but my content is going to change. That's kind of the point in me telling you guys. Um, we're still, I don't know why I'm trying to talk while I'm doing this. We still are, wow, that looks super dark. It doesn't look like that at the end. Hold on. Let me fix that before I keep talking. So obviously like it's not going to be a bunch of Bangkok content, going to things in Bangkok, anything like that. But it, we still will have travel stuff just because like I said, Tyler's still going to be traveling for work and once in a while I'm going to be able to go with him. But, I mean, I still want to do vlogs and stuff. December is probably going to be a lot of videos because we're going to be traveling home. We're going to be moving. We're going to be celebrating the holidays. I have a friend's miss party that I'm going to. So I will probably show you guys some of that. Um, so December will be a busy month and hopefully I'll be able to get a lot of videos out. But I'm going to continue vlogging on this channel and a lot of it's just going to be like days in my life or like showing you stuff with my business and how we're getting that going and meetings that we have and stuff like that. So my content is going to change but I'm excited about it and I want to show you guys like I ordered a bunch of winter clothes because I don't actually have a ton of winter clothes anymore. So I'll show you guys the winter clothes that we got for Tyler and I and I'll be able to like style outfits differently than I was doing in Texas and yeah. So I just wanted to update you guys on that. I think my makeup is done. I need to set it. I need one of those little um, fans that people use. Okay, so I think my makeup is done. I'm gonna go do my hair and I don't know if I'm gonna change my outfit because I don't know. I need to figure out the TikToks that I'm filming today. Also, this whole video, I don't think I ever mentioned it. This nail popped off again. I'm getting them done again, but I'm gonna go do my hair, and then I'll be back to end this video. Okay, so I'm officially ready for the day. I did end up changing because I like looked back at the TikToks that I've made for our business page, which if you haven't seen our business page yet on TikTok and Instagram, it is at Carwell Design. I'll have it pop up here. Um, we do Airbnb design, so check it out. But um, I'm always wearing that sweatshirt that I was wearing because it's my favorite one. So I was like, you know what, let's switch it up. So I curled my hair too. It's not the best my hair has ever looked, but it's not the worst either. So that's good. I have a hair appointment, or I'm going to make a hair appointment this week to get it done one more time before we leave because these roots are just not it. But yeah, so that is the update on us going home. I hope that it made sense. I've noticed when I make these videos, I feel like I end up rambling and I'm not really sure if I get the message across that I intended to, but we are going home. We're excited about it and there'll be a lot of videos coming about our move. So that's exciting. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you